Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will learn how we can easily install Java JDK 21 on Windows 10. Let's see. At first, go to the web browser. I am using Chrome. You can use any web browser. On Google, type Oracle Java and press enter. On pressing enter, the official website is visible. Click on it. That is oracle.com. Here is the link. On reaching the link, the download java button is visible, click on it to download. Now we have reached the download section, go below. You can see java 21 is visible now. We want for windows, so I will go below. And here it is for windows. And we want an installer, exe file, here it is, click on it to download. It's only 160 MB. Now the download started. Let's wait for a few seconds. We have successfully downloaded the exe file. Click on it to begin the installation. Minimize. The installation started. Click next. Herein Java will get installed in the following location. Keep it as it is. We will check this location later. Click next. Installation started. We have successfully installed it. Click close. Now go to the location. It was in C drive. Program files. Java. JDK 21 hand and here it is. We want the bin path. Here and right click and copy this path. Now minimize. Now we will set the environment variable so that so that you can access Java from anywhere. Go to start type environment variables and click on the following. Edit the system environment variables. Click on open. After that, under advanced, click environment variables. Here are the environment variables. You need to select the path, double click, click new and just right click and paste the same path. Here it is the bin path. Now click OK. OK and the last OK. Now let us verify the installation. Go to start, type CMD, click on open to open the command prompt. Now what you need to do, type the command java space hyphen hyphen version and press enter to verify the installation of java. Here it is java 21 that means we successfully installed it. Now let us quickly see how to run our first program in java. For that uh, let us uh, go to the location. We can create a folder here or uh, let's say I will go to e drive. You can go to any drive, d drive also. Here in I will create a specific folder. new folder. Let's say I'll name it Amit project. Okay, now go inside it. Now right click. Create a new text document, let's say. Here it is. You can see the extension is not visible. We want an extension also. So that we can convert it to .java. Go to view. Click file name extension. Now it's fine. Now let us rename it. Now let us rename it. Right click. Rename. Now I'll name it to let's say studiopedia.java. Now when I'll keep the cursor here, it will ask me whether I want to change the file extension. Yes. Yes, I want to change it. Now we have our Java file. You can see Java file. Now right click. You can open it with any editor. Let's say I'll go for notepad. Now let us quickly print our first program. Okay. Type class and the name of the class should be similar to the file name. That is the file name was studyopedia. So the class name will be studyopedia as there will be an error. Now let us print. So here we have printed public static void main. Now what is public static void main? Here in public is an access specifier. Here in static allows the main function 
to be called without the need to instantiate a particular instance. Void is a return type and main is called when Java application begins. These are for command line arguments. Okay. We are just printing a simple program. So I'll just print something now. I'll just print something now using system dot out dot println. Now you would be wondering what is this? Here in system is basically a predefined class to provide access. Out is the output stream to print something and println is the actual is the function that will allow you to display the string in it. So let's say I'll just type. Okay, now I'll just click file and save. That's it. Now I need to reach the following path on command prompt. So the easiest way would be to type cmd here and press enter. Now we have now we have a new command prompt. We directly reach the path. Okay. Now it's simple. Just type Java C to compile because we compile a Java program first, then we run it. And write mention the name of the file. That is that is the following studyapd.java under E drive. You can create in any drive. Press enter. If there will be an error, it will show it. So there is a semicolon error. No problem. Here it is. File save. That's it. Now go to here. Use the same command using arrow keys or you can directly type it again. Press it. Sorry, press enter. So I it dot Java and now there should be no error. Yes. Now you can see after compiling a new class file generated at the same time. So this is how, so this is how JVM works. That is Java virtual machine concept works. Works while compiling a program and running it. Now we will run it. Java space the file name. That's it. Now I don't need to add the extension. Just press enter. And here it is Amit Thing YouTube channel. It printed it and this is what we were having here Amit Thing YouTube channel. So guys in this video we saw how we can easily run our first how we can easily install Java 21 and and run our first Java program. Thank you for watching the video.